And the author and illustrator Raymond Briggs, best known for the 1978 classic The Snowman, has died aged 88. The author and illustrator Raymond Briggs, best known for the 1978 classic The Snowman, has died. He was 88. Raymond Briggs' story about a boy whose snowman came to life was adored by millions and became a fixture of British television at Christmas. The BBC's David Silito reports. It's become part of Christmas, the snowman that comes to life. Magical, heartwarming, and at the end, the snowman melts. We're walking in the air. A very Raymond Briggs twist. He was a children's author who wasn't really writing for children. Oh, strip cartoon, Raymond Briggs, children's department. Well, that's been the attitude in England. Oh, if it's strip cartoon, children's book. But we're growing out of that a bit now about half a century too late. It was his Father Christmas that was Raymond Briggs' breakthrough, but this was no jovial gift bearer. This Father Christmas moaned, swore, and drank just a bit too much. What I normally do with most of my things is have something that's fantastical, like Father Christmas, like fungus, and I'd imagine that to be wholly real and follow it through logically from there. It's a foul job out all night on your own, flying about in icy temperatures, landing on rooftops, going down filthy chimneys. Can you imagine climbing down a chimney, not once, but hundreds of times? He's going to be fed up with it. The bogeymen are stirring in their beds. Fungus the bogeyman was a beautifully drawn celebration of snot and farting. Fungus with his wife Mildew and their son Mould breakfasts on flaked corns, gripe nits and leech flavored yuck. Raymond Briggs studied at the Slade School of Art. He'd worked in advertising and hated it. He illustrated children's books, but he didn't like the saccharine stories. He was much happier with cartoons that had a little darkness to them. Take When the Wind Blows, a story of a couple's attempts to follow government advice in a nuclear attack. I've Repeat. never heard such language An in all my life. For God's sake, shut up! Oh dear, I've left the oven on. Get in, get in, get Stay in! The cake will be burned! Lie down. Come on, dear, get in. Oh, uh, I don't like to. I've still got my penny on. And then Ethel and Ernest, which, like many of his works, was adapted for the screen. But £825? Can we afford that mortgage business? It was a depiction of the life and death of a couple. Ethel, his mother, a lady's maid, Ernest, his father, a milkman. Good morning, madam. How many today, please? Just you keep off my clean step, young man. <laughs> oh, I, I just felt my mum and dad were in the room. I spent the whole of the two days of recording in tears, quite, you know, you just... I thought, there they were. I kept almost looking round to see, oh, dad, are you there? <laughs> When he began, his comic art was frowned on by his art teachers. By the end, Raymond Briggs had done much to change attitudes with those charming drawings and their slightly subversive stories. Raymond Briggs, who's died at the age of 88.